I have here a 3DS board, so it's a standard original first model 3DS and it's had a prior repair attempt. We have a bit of a battlefield going on down there. Got burnt components. It looks to be a missing pad. Also missing components. This one, yeah, it's uh, it's seen some things. Of course, we need to take a better look under the microscope. So here we are, pretty grubby. It's not too bad all around it. Mainly this area here. So that is potentially toasted that little cap there that's all black well it could just be that color but it's looking a little rough in general a bit off center give it a clean first to get a better idea of what we're looking at here i was kind of unsure if that pad's missing or if it's just like no solder there Even now, I think it's missing. But usually it's like a, a darker color. Oh, yeah, it's kind of a darker color now. Yeah, it looks like it's missing. And there's a cap to the right of that, which is also missing. And the one next to that, yeah, we'll look at that too, because it's looking a little off. If we test that, no beeps. So no continuous path in that pad. Therefore, there's probably no pad there. I can confirm if I grind away a bit of the trace and test that against the pad area again. But I think it's, it's pretty set in stone. There's no pad there. Just to be safe. And if there's no pad, because there's no pad, we're going to have to attach it to that trace anyway. So we need it exposed. Yeah, look at how dark that is now. There's no pad there. No pad at all. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think we can handle it. Quickly test again. Yeah, still no beeps. So, I guess we'll start with that. Because that's probably going to be the most annoying bit. I didn't have a pad strip of the right size, so I actually just cut the edge of the sheet. Like all that excess space around the edge of the pad, pad strip sheet. I just cut a piece of that off get a good size for it because I want it big enough that I can put some mask across the top to try and hold it down that's the theory that's, that's what I'm trying to achieve here uh, will it work uh, we'll find out I'm gonna put the mask on first to try and get it to stay in place I don't want to put too much on. Just just enough. Okay. That 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 looks like a good amount. Um I find the UV light for it. I can cure that. Maybe leave it for a bit too. And hope it goes pretty hard. I think that's lined up. That should, yeah, it's touching the touching the trace at the bottom. It's not touching any caps or anything around it. I think we're all right. Get rid of that solder next to it. Nice and even now.
So this is our donor board now. There's the bit we need. I don't know if uh, it might be an inductor. I don't know. It's not really a whole lot of markings on it. And as you can see, yeah, that's two. Well, there is a missing cap on the board we're working on today. So we'll get this one off. There we go. So the plan is to line it up, solder the left side in. Once the left side on is solder the right side using the iron. I'm trying to use the iron left handed here and I am wobbly as hell. Steady. Oh, okay. That seemed to go all right. Hopefully the pad holds up for the, for the next side. And hopefully it attaches to that exposed trace. Okay. Okay, that looks all right. Oh. oh, I just had to go and try it again. Try and do it, didn't I? Right, that might have to do because I ruined all the mask at top. Seems solid enough. I'll leave that as is for now. It's a bit rough, but we'll, we'll leave it at that. We'll get this next one done. Look at this little one. It, it feels loose. The bottom of it feels loose. Yeah, see how much it wobbles? I'll try and see if I can uh, steady it on. There might be a torn pad underneath this one. Okay. I'm not sure it's torn. But it's definitely not in the right spot. Maybe it's just bent, folded over. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's still still attached. Come on. Unroll. Stupid thing. Come on. Okay. There we go. That looks better. It doesn't it doesn't look like there's a, a break in it. I think it's still whole. And grind at the bottom of this one too and check check and see if it's a continuous path that might be the easiest way to tell the safest to make sure it is one piece still find that pen again where is it uh, It's a little bit smaller than the last one. There we go, precision drilling. Test. As long as that gives me some beeps, I'll be happy. You might not be able to hear them though. Okay, we're good. It's, it's still connected. Flux, very important. Better go grab the donor board. So we can get these caps off it. 
tin these pads first. And that way I can come straight over. Okay, there we go. They look okay. All right, back to the donor board. Where are we? There we are. It's those two little ones there. Of course, it has to be the little ones. Hot air running, 400 at about 80%. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. You know you want to. There we go. I'll get them both off now. That way they're there and ready. Not too difficult. Although, I was a bit, you know, not, not so cautious with this one. So I know it's just a parts board. Gotta be nice and dental with this one. Where are we? We're lost again. We're lost. Oh, there we are. Okay, here we go. Let's try not to mess this up. These are, these are quite small, these ones. We do the middle one first. I think it would be better if I did that one first. Not sure if I want to use the hot air here. It might work out better with the iron. Because they're so small. And the air. Well, I don't want to ruin my sweet pad job. We'll try, we'll try, we'll try the air. Okay. We'll line that one up a bit better. A bit skew with. That seemed to go all right. Oh, oh, I just lost that. Bugger. I have to go back and get another one. I'm going to assume the, the third one that was sitting in the row there is the same. So we can probably just use that one. Where is it? There we go. We use that that third one. Surely it'll be the same. It's right next to it, same size. It looks the same. Yeah. We'll put it in. Alright. Let's not lose this one. We kinda need it. Flux again. Very important. Very, very important. 
if you're trying to do work like this without flux, you are not going to have a good time. Trust me, I've tried. When I very first started, okay, we're on. Not the cleanest, but they're small. They really are small. I know they're smaller, but that was small. Probably give it a clean and then oh, I'll probably put mask on again. I'd say I think, I think I should remask it, especially that exposed trace that I uh, grinded off. Should definitely mask it up, and hopefully, I don't squirt too much out because last time I tried to use this thing because it's a fairly full tube. The mechanic, what is it called? Mechanic UV curing solder mask. I've got that in a tube or a syringey thing, and it's quite full. And the tiniest bit of pressure on it brings so much out. I always dispense way too much every time I try and use it. I've got to wipe so much of it away on the tip of the syringe so let's try not go overboard with it today let's check everything's solid before we mask it in place seems all right I'm happy with that it looks like it should but that pad is a bit a bit of a dog's breakfast but i i think it'll work i think it'll work Anyway, we'll get the mask going. Just need to find it. There it is. Don't have an overly large amount here, which is good. Cover everything. Beauty. That looks all right. I think that's everything. I'll let that sit for a little bit. I'll get the UV light on it. Hopefully it sets nice and hard. I think it looks all right. I guess... I mean, I didn't I didn't really look at the board too heavily, but I think that was the only thing that really stood out as wrong. So with that all replaced, we might whack it in a shell and see if we can test it. So that's all cured. See the difference in how it looks. All right. I don't have the little buttony piece on there at the moment, the clicking bits. I'll put that on if it works. So we need top screen in. So these things, they used to give me a bit of grief, these things. I'm alright at putting them in now. Bit of an awkward cable. There we go. That's in. Get the bottom one plugged in. And then we can test and see. Oh. Uh, the the cable connector is missing the white latchy bit. I didn't even look at that. That's not going to go in properly and I don't want to try and shove it in. Because I might ruin the screen cable. Bugger. 
We're going to have to... I think it's easier to swap the connector rather than trying to re-thread a white piece in it. So back to the donor board then. So the donor board's still got its LCD connector on the bottom there. So board holder thingamajig once again. Great piece of uh, equipment. Just heating up from the bottom. Since I'm heating up from the bottom, I've got the station at full ball here. 480 max air. Get that connector off. Sweet as. All right. I'm gonna get this back under the scope. Or well, the good board anyway, not this donor rubbish. There's our missing connector one. I think there's a missing cap on the edge of that too, actually. We'll get this connector replaced first because that's a bit harder. We have a few more pins to line up on this thing. So I'm going to heat this one up from the top to remove it because I don't care about this one. If I melt it, whatever, doesn't matter. I've tried to re-thread those white clips into them before when they've been half fallen off. And there's just too many little metal pins in there. Once it's out of alignment, it's just, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. So I think I'd rather just try and replace the whole connector. Um, so that old one's out of the way. We'll flux, uh, not flux, wick. Wick all the old solder off. Then flux. Get some leaded solder on there. And then hope I don't mess it up again. Come on. Might need some more flux here. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Come on. All right. Flux, flux, flux. Always helps. So, what I'll do is I'll put the connector on now while it's under the scope to line up all the pins properly. But I want to reflow it from the bottom again, so I'll have to line it up. I'm going to solder one pin, and then once it's sitting there in place, put it back onto the board holder thingamajig, reflow it from the bottom, and apply pressure to get that to stick in place. That lines up okay. I'll try and try and do that end pin. Okay, I'm still 480 max air, because we're underneath. And then we'll check it out under the scope again, make sure it looks good. It looks all right, they're connected. They seem solid, check the back. Check it on an angle. Check the back. They look all right. Yeah, like a little xylophone. We'll just check this cap on the left again. We'll check the donut board. Confirm that one is missing from there. Uh, yep, one is missing from there as well. How bizarre. Hopefully that's all that's missing and wrong then. Because I didn't actually you know, go over the whole board. I just kind of saw that damaged area at that back front, back 
section there and went, righto, see if we can sort this out. Now, I probably should have done the cap before the LCD connector. Because I don't want to use hot air on that cap and the brand new LCD, can well not brand new, but the LCD connector next to it might melt. I think, I mean, I could heat it up from the bottom, but maybe I'll try the uh, soldering iron on its own. It's pretty little. If I wick off all that stuff and put some solder on the right hand side and then slide the cap across while I've got the iron on it, I think that might work out better than trying to hot air this bad boy down. We'll go with that. Sounds like a plan. We'll go with that. Hopefully I don't touch that connector. Uh, kind of close. Okay, nice and clean. Get some more flux on there. Retin that one. Oof. That looks good. Looks better than all the other ones I've done so far. Try and line this up then. Heat it enough. Alright, lined up. Heat up. It's on. As long as we can get this other side down all right, I'll be happy. Okay. Seems all right. Hopefully it's all right. It's solid. Better give it a clean and have another look. Looks clean. Yeah. Oh yeah. That looks good. Connected. All right. Let's shell it again. See if we get any output. Or if it even turns on actually. Turning on would be a good start. And output would be a bonus. Never, not really tried replacing those connectors before on, on one of these. So hopefully it's all right. I'm not going to worry about putting everything screwed down. We'll get the the main meat and potatoes all connected. And if it powers on, I'll go through the full reassembly then. Wi-Fi board, don't forget that. I do it all the time. Battery. Moment of truth. Come on, baby. Green light. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh, good stuff. Uh, the circle pad's not plugged in, so the it's jumping all over the shop. That's an easy enough fix. Ah, uh, it makes me happy because these things are pretty pricey at the moment. So I'll put the buttons back on. That's just a little sticker. 
quite different to the membranes of the DS uh, DS lights or the soldered on button style of the DSi. It's a sticker instead. So they they feel clicky. You should hear the little click 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 when you press them in. This screen back on and everything else plugged back in. And speaker, uh, not speaker, that's the volume switch, I should say. And everything else. Touch screen, bottom LCD, the wiring ran in there, camera, and then the speaker 3D cable. Here we go. I put a brand new uh, lens on the top there as well. Shoulder buttons working, circle pads working. Our buttons are working. So all good.